introduction. It is in knowing who you are that you are better able to see yourself. The purpose of this book is to help you work on your relationship with yourself. These pillars will discuss not so much the purpose of personal relationship with others, but rather the relationship you have with yourself. God is in our hearts. How can you help yourself to grow? Well, by being willing to find out who you are, by being willing to look at yourself, and allowing the self-awareness to lead to new levels of consciousness and personal growth. The next step is your commitment to change them, for simple awareness alone will only work once power of intention is to change, to improve, to grow step by step on a daily basis. This willingness to grow and learn, or most importantly, relearn and undo old patterns and old ways and belief systems to change old behaviors and acquire and maintain new skills in life requires a shift in paradigm, or in other words, to see things another way. The willingness to transcend one's past and live in the present time or the present moment is very important. And this is explained in another book called The Five Pillars of Relationships as well as The Power of the Present Moment. It is equally important to love now, forgive now, and love and live and laugh today. By just smiling, our whole physiology changes in less than an hour. Smile for a month and see what happens. Or say hello to strangers for no reason but to show your kindness and self-love. This shows self-love we have and demonstrates our ability to share that love with others. Pretty simple, don't you think? Recognize people for who they are.